Hi, I'm Tamara <laughs> Haynes from the American Culture Society. I'm joined today by Connie B. from Tomsbrook, Virginia. And welcome. Well, thank you. Yes. I'm excited to be here. And you have a great reason to be excited to be here today. You yes. have two quilts hanging in the... Yes, I do. Okay. And this one is Ring of Fire. Wonderful. And this is the Wall Quilts Movable Machine Quilted Category, mm -hmm. sponsored by Juki. Yes. Yes. So tell us about Ring of Fire. Uh, how was it inspired? How was it named? Well, it was named by a friend. Okay. And she had named it. She got to see the, the top of it uh, before she passed away. And so she named the quilt Ring of Fire. Oh. And so that's why it has that. Oh, and it took 20 years to make this quilt. Oh my. I had started it back around 2001 and um, had in my mind for it to be a rectangle and it just was not working so I put it away mm -hmm. and then I got it out periodically looked at it would put it away again so then there was a group of us girls that got together and did like fiber uh, art mm -hmm. and I had showed it to them and they said oh, you have to finish this quilt and it has to be a circle mm -hmm. so fortunately enough when I pulled out fabrics that I still had in my stash to finish the six blades on that side and mm -hmm. this side mm -hmm. I still had the gray in my boutique stash well, you are very lucky because that doesn't happen very often, does no, it? No, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. There are tape and templates that have been okay. used in it. Okay. Also, freezer paper, paper piecing. Okay. And uh, then just some um, ruler uh, stripping. Okay. And if you look at the triangles, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. are all stripped black fabric and then I cut the triangles and then I switched them back and forth as I put them in the, and the, 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 the fitted them in. Gotcha. And then you did ruler work on your quilting. Yes. But then you did something special. Yes. In these triangles here. Yes. These triangles, this design I drew on a piece of paper mm -hmm. and then I copied it into my uh, computer and mm -hmm. I had a software that would transfer it into stitches that I used in the computer on the line. Gotcha, gotcha. So it is quite a journey. You can yes. see 20 years journey here. Yes. And I wanted to play with all the colors. I didn't want yes. just a few. Yes. And also the other tragedy that kept me grounded with this was that my husband passed away also when I was working on it, but it kept me and got me through most. Mm -hmm. I don't you think that we often find the trials in life, quilting can really help us get through those yes. and make us stronger on the other side. It does, mm -hmm. it really does. Mm -hmm. And I said it's like a therapy mm -hmm. of being able to concentrate and focus on something uh, making a quilt. And so tell us about the second quilt that you have hanging here. The second quilt is called Kaleidoscope Illusion. And it is a purple and green quilt with uh, hummingbirds on it. Oh. And those are embroidered hummingbirds. And the story with that one is, <laughs> I went to my favorite quilt shop and I found this beautiful uh, collection of fabrics with hummingbirds on it. And I thought, oh, I'm going to make a quilt with that. Mm -hmm. Well, I had the stack laid on the cutting table and one of the owners came by and she knew me and she said, oh, what are you going to make? Mm -hmm. I said, well, I don't know. I haven't designed the quilt yet. Mm -hmm. So I went home and I bought a yard of each one, went home mm -hmm. and the next day I designed the quilt. And in the center of it, there are 352 different pieces. And so the quilt Kaleidoscope Illusions mm -hmm. is in the large quilts, movable machine quilted yes. category, sponsored by ABM. Yes. Yes. Well, Connie, thank you so much for right. spending a few minutes with us today. I've enjoyed it very much. And I've enjoyed the show. And I said there are some wonderful, fantastic quotes. There are. There are. And I feel honored to have two of mine be on the phone. Absolutely. And AQS just loves to showcase all of the beautiful artwork uh, that our quilters do. And 
So uh, we hope you've been inspired and we look forward to seeing your next quilt at an AQS Quilt Week near you.